What is going on dudes? Modsville USA here. Back with another video. Welcome back to the Vita uh, uh, custom firmware series. And today we're going to be uh, showing you how to go online as well as getting the essential apps set up ready to go. Now you might be thinking, hey, we're down at 3.60 custom firmware, dude. The current version's like 3.73, what the heck? Go online, that's crazy. Super freaking easy. Um, all we gotta do is go into settings here. And we're gonna go to Henkaku settings. Spoofed version, you're definitely gonna wanna have enabled PSN spoofing enabled. Then we go spoofed version. And then you just type in the current version at the time of making this. The current version is 3.73. Don't know if that's going to get updated ever. If it does, um, just change the number here to whatever the current version is. But at the time I'm making this, it is 3.73. All right. We're good. Go back. Back. And just to prove it. PlayStation Network. Here I am. Ta da. Signed in. And to prove there's no uh, wizardry going on here, let's go ahead and show you system info again. 3.60 looking all right cool go ahead and give me an ad modsville usa 69 might use this i might not who knows we'll see um cool so i'm gonna go ahead and sign back out we are gonna get uh the homebrew browser for all of our homebrew needs to just be able to grab everything we want from the vita itself so we're going to go to Vita Shell and close auto plugin. Very good. Now, what we're going to do is I want to hit start here. We are set to USB. I want to switch that back to FTP. I'm just going to transfer a file here. Um, it's up to you how you want to do it. I'm going to do it FTP. Okay, here I am at the desktop. And this is going to be linked down below. This is the Vita HB browser um, GitHub. So we're going to, at the latest release, this is um, as new as f uh, 420. So we see how they were celebrating their 420. Being busy boys. So just download this VPK here. I already got it. And then uh, I'm going to FTP it over to my Vita. I want to connect with UX0. And you know, just for convenience sake, I want to create a di directory at this point called VPKs. And we're just going to keep those there. Just drag it on over. There we go. That is it for the computer. Back to the Vita. We're going to go back. UX0. Our new VPKs. Do you want to install this package? Yes. Extended permissions, that is fine. Okay, now we're gonna go home. Got that installed. Vita Homebrew Browser. Let's load it up, take a look. Okay, it took a little while to load. I actually ended up going home, closing it out, loading it up again. Got a black screen for a while, but then I ended up 
it ended up working out. So here's what you got in the homebrew browser. Basically, you have access to anything you could want application-wise. Um, there are all sorts of utilities, emulators, ports of various games. Um, we got this new N64 emulator in active development, which is crazy to see. Uh, yeah, dudes, utilities. We got PKJ in here. It's all sorts of stuff. By default, it's um, yeah PKJ. This is gonna be our main. Uh, it's gonna be our main boy right there. We got Vita Moonlight. Very nice. That's that'll be for streaming games from PC to the Vita. If that's something you're interested in doing. Yeah, whole lot, whole lot here. Um, now. I'm not going to go into anything individually in this video. We're definitely going to have our own video on PKJ. Probably do a video on the N64 emulator. Check it out. Um, but yeah, that's the homebrew browser. Have Feel free to start going, uh, going to town, grabbing what you want and playing with it. Um, for now, though, we're going to move on to plugins. Now you're going to need quite a few plugins to... Uh, use various apps like PKJ. And we're going to go through some of the essentials here, see what's cool, see what we like, and then, um, yeah, install them. So we're going to go to install plugins. If you've been following along, we've already been here uh, for SD2 Vita. So we're going to go to install plugins. And we're going to grab this guy. This is a tool that patches PlayStation Vita's level zero secure kernel six call, yada yada. Grabbing it. We're gonna grab Adrenaline. Adrenaline is um, PSP. Um, this will allow us to boot into a virtual PSP uh, that has hacked uh, firmware as well. So having a modded Vita I know a lot of people love the PSP, but when you have a hacked Vita, you have a hacked Vita and a hacked PSP, which is fucking sweet. So we're going to grab Adrenaline. And a lot of these analog enhancers, these are for um, different tweaks uh, for the analog sticks. I'm going to avoid those for now. Auto boot. Sid spoop fur if you ever get banned for some reason. Don't believe bands are very common on the PS Vita. I've only heard of it happening to like one person. Download enabler. This is another good one. Basically anything you see by the flow. Pretty much essential. Download enabler. Very good. This will allow us to download any type of file we want from the web browser. So we can search a VPK and just download it. That's cool. These here, these seem pretty neat. DS3 and DS4 Vita, so you can use um, like a PS3 controller, PS4 controller on your PS Vita. Might do a video on those. I want to grab the frame counter personally. I like knowing my FPS. I think that's pretty neat. And I want to grab this one for the lulls. This will overclock the shit out of the Vita. And um, and it won't uh, disable the Wi-Fi and other features in more intense games. That sounds pretty good. Hopefully it's stable. We will find out. We are definitely going to do the disable the lock screen for the Vita right here. And we're going to install the no NP DRM by the flow. Which will allow us to bypass DRM. PNG shots, good. It will improve the screenshots that you take uh, by making them PNG. I'm for it. We're grabbing it. Next up, we're going to want refood for sure. Refood will allow you to um, play games that require a higher firmware on lower, on 3.60 like we are. Very nice. This could be cool if you want to remap your buttons. I'm going to grab 
shell bat. It'll show us the actual percentage of our battery. Ooh, a MAC address spoofer. I like that. We got this little plug-in for enabling cheats. I'm going to bypass that. Vita Graphics allows you to change the resolution and FPF cap of PS Vita games. That is wild. Doing it. So we're going to hit start to exit. And O oh, to hit OK. Our plugins should load up with our Vita here. Likely overclocked. With a nice little FPS counter. That is beautiful, man. That is fucking beautiful, dude. Okay. Well, that's the gist of, of it. On the next one, we're going to install PKGJ. Which is the free shop for the PS Vita. And grab some freaking games, alright? See you on the next one. Bye-bye.